Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Profit Exclusions Team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Codeignator version 3, REST API Development. This is our part 2. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about all downloaded files what we have downloaded inside previous video. So in the last video, we have downloaded 4 different files. Back to editor go inside application now first file inside this config folder called rest.php now the second file inside this language folder and inside english directory we have called restcontrollerlang.php inside this libraries we have two files called format.php and restcontroller.php now the basic simple question comes in our mind that why we need these files? What is the importance of these files while developing any API in Codeigniter? So answers of all these questions we are going to learn inside this video. So back to slides. Go to next tab. Now let's discuss about first thing first about rest.php. Now this file is basically known as main configuration file of our API development. If you have remembered that while developing API in our core PHP, we had seen the importance of header. We have set about the header properties at each of the file at the topmost position. So in the simple way, we can actually say that the rest.php contains all the header settings. The setting includes about the login credentials, about the request type, about the output parameters, about default formats, about cross origins and many more settings inside this rest.php. So if I back to code editor. Now firstly, let's open that file to understand clearly. So open rest.php. Now inside this file, simply we have defined a config array. Inside this config array, each setting defined inside a key. So back scrolling down. Now as we can see here, like config rest default format. So about each setting, we can learn here by putting our comment. So the default format of the response. What does it mean? It means that if suppose we hit our API via Postman, then by default it will give the JSON format. But if we want to change something like CSV, HTML, PHP, serialized, XML, so we can put only by copying this key and pasting it here, then it automatically changes the default format of the response of the APIs. Let's scroll the file. Now inside this file also we can find about all the REST supported formats. These are the formats basically supports while making our API call. Again if I scroll down many more settings as we can see here something called REST auth. If we want to send about means if we want to set some login credentials like username and the password while calling our REST API then also we can set via this configuration file. If suppose we want to set about some authentication keys we can also set by allowing auth and keys here. All we will see about each key in detail in our upcoming videos. Only inside this video, we, we need to understand about the need of this rest.php file. So in summary point of view, we can just say that rest.php file only the main configuration file what we are going to do inside REST API development. Now the next file, something called restcontroller underscore lang.php. This is called language file. As we have seen that inside our coordinator setup, we have a folder called English inside this language folder. Also we can make more folders of many more languages. If we want to make like French, Spanish and many more, we can just develop our folders and put inside this language directory. So what is the use of our downloaded file? Back to slide. So API error messages according to the selected REST language. If I go to our editor, go inside English directory, open that file. Now as we can see that inside this we have a lang array and inside this many more keys we have. Each key have their different messages. 
Let's say that while developing our APIs, we are using our authentication mains login username and the password while hitting our API. And in that API, we have passed our invalid credentials. So automatically our API server returns the error messages and that error message is actually defined here as we can see. So in case of unauthorized, it gives us the message called unauthorized. If we have made any controller, inside that controller, if we are hitting any method inside that and suppose if we have misspelled about the word of our method, so in that case, it returns the message called unknown method. So this is the language file which basically handles about the error messages what we are getting via API re response. Let's say that we are going to develop our APIs in French language. Only we need to make a French language inside this means French folder inside this language and we have to put about the same file called rest controller underscore lang dot php. Only we need to convert these messages into French language and rest all these keys will remain same. Automatically these keys picked by our rest controller. If we back to our configuration file rest.php and search here for the English. Now as we can see that for the REST API development of this setup, we have as a default language configured as English here. So it automatically picks the English directory and this is the file. And suppose in case if we have developed our French language APIs, then in that case we need to change the language. It automatically go inside this language folder and pick this file according to that folder respectively. So all we have seen about the complete details about rest.php and the language file what we have seen inside our config folder and language folder. Now next we have called format.php. This is the file that we need to place inside our libraries folder. So go inside libraries, open that, the name itself clears of this file that it is formatter format class help convert between various formats as we have seen that inside this rest.php as we have configured about languages as we have called default format of the response so while setting all this configuration inside this file this basically files get configured and work if suppose we have set like xml json php and all these supported formats then while getting this rest supported formats this file basically works so back to slide now format.php this is output format file help us, uh, helpful to convert between various formats such as xml json csv and etc this is all about main configuration file if we have set about the chosen language this file will be used if suppose we have set our format then this file will be used all these files somewhere dependent on this main configuration file now about the next file called restcontroller.php this is most important rest api file so scroll down to see the definition, so code ignite a REST controller, a fully RESTful server implementation for code igniter using one library. So back to editor, open up the file called REST controller. Now inside this file, all the configurations about called HTTP, let's say that we are hitting our API and we get any error then the respective HTTP code will be returned by this file. Also about our methods, about our several configurations, about accessing our formats, all we have to specify all let's say specified inside this controller.php file. So while developing our APIs, we need not to inherit or extend about CI controller because by default this REST controller extends CI controller so only we need to extend about REST controller. After extending this class, now we can access about format.php, language.php and all the configurations what we are doing inside the REST API setup. So we will understand about each file clearly when we work from our next video. 
So only for the summary point of view, this is main configuration file about rest.php. This is our language file called restcontrollerlang.php, output fab format file called format.php and our most important file something called restcontroller. From the next video, we are going to make our API controllers and in that controllers, we just go and extend this class. While extending, we will do or implement our features of REST API and develop many more APIs method from the next video. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.